guys, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another podcast video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post, you'll be notified. And also to all my um new subscribers, y'all welcome. And also returning subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit and let's keep running shit. And um for y'all information, this is a podcast video, not a tea video. We've got a lot to cover. Let's start off with Nicki Minaj, Lil Uzi, everybody. Going to the number one spot at the United States Rhythmic Radio. So, y'all should let me know flap about these down below in the comments. Now, my own opinion on this whole ish. Everybody going number one on the radio is a very good look for Nicki Minaj. I'ma say this. It is a very good look for Nicki Minaj because everybody been eating up this song. And also, I feel like Nicki and Republic Records, y'all need to keep pushing this song. I can see it going top 10. Just as fuck the club up those two songs potentially deserve a top 10 spot and i know y'all can come out and hate and say oh the pink friday 2 album didn't do really well to the charts but if the pink friday 2 album didn't come out around the december time nikki would have gotten probably close to like a five top 10 hits so this is also a very good look for Nicki Minaj because this is 2024 and she's still on the charts, still dominating no matter how y'all come out to call her washed and flop and old and a Grammy. She's still out here doing shit. So, I mean, this is a very good look for Nika Tanya Mirage. I can't wait to see what she has to do because she's got a lot for us and also she's got a lot to uncover literally got a lot to uncover so y'all should let me know if you about this down below do y'all think um everybody and also fuck the club up will go to top 10 spot on the Billboard hop 100 charts let me know your thoughts and your opinion down below because i think this one deserves to go top 10 now we've got something important to discuss so um tylab once said she is wanting to do a collaboration with nikki right yeah, she said she was going to do a collab. I believe that was a Time magazine. She said she was going to um, want to do a collaboration with Nicki Minaj or Rihanna. Those are her dream collab. And she's still coming out to show love to Nicki Minaj. So y'all should let me know if you about this down below. Fans are kind of speculating that Nicki, Tyler, and also Burner Boy is doing the testing and approval song remix. Y'all should let me know if you about this down below. So this is my whole thing with Tyler. She is a beautiful girl and also I think she kind of tell because she's got them vocals and she can sing but um then again i don't think i would want to see nikki and tyler on a specific song but if it's the tested and approval song okay that's kind of that's pretty cool but i don't think Nicki minaj should um probably get a tyler collaboration because i feel like nikki it's time to work with people on your level it's time to work with them early stars back we are done with the d and f list and also the charity work you've been doing out here so nikki i would want you to go back working with beyonce rihanna um j cole kendrick lamar champagne tuckums and also um I want the A-list collaboration, no shade. I want all them A-list back. I don't want no um Tyler, no Ice Spice, no um Koi Fish, and also all this up and coming artists. No Nicki Minaj. I think it's time for you to go back, getting yourself them A-list collaboration. Them A-list collaboration is what we need in 2024. But I can't wait to see Nicki at the Pink Friday get to the World Tour. But let me know if you about that down below. Now moving over to the Industrial Plastic by Cardi B so a cardi b fan the delusional gang came out saying the way bungles is still on my head leaving rents free it hasn't left your head since somebody came out to clock them and said right how would you spend two m dolls to do a comeback single any thanks the cardi b fans are spiraling online i mean y'all shouldn't even act delusional didn't the song tank i mean that's if y'all trying to say the song was a hit song why didn't go number one like peace Peace got a whole lot of payola, we all know that, but the song tanks, no shade, delusional gang, this hoe is flopping, nobody's checking for her career, it's down the basement, down the toilet, so y'all shouldn't come out act delusional, bozos, bongos, whatever they call the song, the song was a flop, y'all can't make that song be a bop, y'all ain't streaming the song, it's off the charts, no shade, but y'all can't even make something real. And also, they've been coming out to speculate that the face changing alien Cardi B has now been knocked up by Afterflop again. 
and they are presuming or assuming that she's pregnant so y'all just let me know if you feel about this down below do y'all think the face changing alien aka cardi b the industrial plastic bag has been knocked up again and she's carrying her third child i mean that's the only shit she can do uh, she be getting them surgeries she be getting them new um bbl and also lipo and also um she loves the courtroom and also loves staying on nikki's um twitter page and also instagram page stalking on her but she ain't putting out no album she is just gonna get more kids more surgery and also more court cases so i mean i'm not really gonna be shocked she's trying to run away from the industry by not putting out music it's giving rihanna to point oh so bad but um i don't think she is gonna work like that for cardi b she doesn't have star power yet y'all shouldn't drag me down below in the comment because if she has star power i mean her comeback song bozos wouldn't have flopped like that i mean with all the budget they give to the song but then again everybody's tired of mediocrity we need real talent in rap and we also need female rappers that can rap 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 i don't want no cardi b and megan coming out to talk about their coochie and their punani damn i mean we are done y'all in city girls so um i mean this whole is she's pregnant i think is her little pr stone to try to rule out the next album but would she still put out the album 2025 that's the question would she still put out the album 2025 y'all should let me know your thoughts and your opinion down below because all i can see about this whole she ain't putting out the album this year no shade i don't see cardi be putting out no album 2024 pretty really no shade to this whole she is so untalented and also lack talent in rap so i don't know why y'all still coming out to expect something from this whole she's only gonna come back if she's um giving payola though she doesn't like flopping um when bozo stanks she shut the fuck and her garbage with featuring um kanye west and lil duck that's also thanked she was on mute so i mean she is scared to put out a solo song not even a um album she just like putting out collaboration and y'all notice how her first album invasion of plastic surgery had more features on it so this whole ain't talented i ain't expecting no cardi b album 2025 shit is period moving over from there it looks like megan the seahorse aka the industrial pass around aka miss lion lipo her song peace has now been tanking off the charts no shade it be falling falling like a raindrop falling for you i mean she is not a joke no Nicki minaj no clap i told y'all i told y'all she i told y'all she before they was trying to use Nicki minaj to help this whole charts but nikki now playing chess nikki ain't giving them the clout nikki ain't responding to the seahorse and also camel too <laughs> and now she's flopping all the people that came out to support this whole and also peace first day first week y'all just did it to spite Nicki minaj well can y'all keep buying this was what i said like a week ago would y'all constantly and also continue supporting the song or would y'all just let the song be because y'all be coming out to give megan fake support outside the streets seriously speaking y'all effing wicked and also delusional no shade y'all could have keep streaming the song and also helping the girl but just like i said the song has no replay value period y'all shouldn't even pretend about that y'all do not even fucking mess with that song y'all just didn't like the fact that Nicki minaj clocked her and also exposed her that's the that's point that's that's po that's the fact and y'all trying to say oh um Nicki minaj is on um, big fool was trash but y'all can't even act like um megan pieces even that kind of a great song though cobra did had a lot of bars but y'all didn't support that song just because nikki clapped and also clucked the horse y'all came out supporting the song but now nikki ain't paying her attention y'all paying the song dust so i mean the delusional gang four crackpots and also doji cats fans aka the kid letters whatever they call yourself i mean y'all should come out to the front of the congregation unfortunately i have to give y'all the donkey of the day because this shit ain't adding up y'all ain't supporting this girl y'all keep lying to megan and also y'all ain't gonna buy the song so i mean y'all should sit the fuck the song is stanking up the charts no shade to megan and um rock nation now doja cats came on instagram live with a wig i don't know why she did that shit i thought she was gonna stay bored but she came on live and also she premiered new song and i can't put the video on man i don't feel like doing that ish i ain't getting no copyright but i ain't putting that shit on my own but then again 
she is teasing a deluxe to her scar flop album so let me know if you feel about this down below i mean doja sincerely and honestly speaking doja cats aka demona listen to me and listen to me carefully girl if you don't want she to get uglier than cardi b original face stay away from putting out this car flop album too even though you're gonna be doing a 25k first day or first week you did a 70k for the scarf flop album and now you want to do the deluxe i don't think you should put that shit out no 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 i think doja should go back to the drawing board come back with a new new aesthetic leave the whole ball as caliwag ish and also drop the whole demon ish at home you should come back with a new aesthetic get rid of all your fucking damn ass ugly ass tattoos and come back being the normal doji cat fans actually supported i mean the last time i heard of doji cat was at vegas no shade Every shit she been putting out was trash, except Agora Hughes, and I love that song, I'm not gonna lie, the lyrics is dope, and everything about the song, but the other tune was just too much, but then again, I love the song. So, I mean, Doja Cats, you should come down to the front row of the congregation, and also, stay away from putting out this car flop deluxe, I don't think it's gonna be a good look. You should just work on your new song, just like you said, um, at the Ebro's podcast, you said it was gonna do, um, your fifth album, I think and i think she should go straight on working on that it should be like uh planet hard 2.0 maybe planet hard 2 just like Nicki minaj had pink friday you could do planet hard 2 but anyways these girls they be putting out shit nowadays they don't really want to talk about rap ice spice be out here talking about her coochie um sexy red be doing same thing doja cats cardi b meg the stallion the whole and also i mean all those girls even flo mini she be singing and talking about her coochie i mean girl Anyways, um, I don't want to see no deluxe of Doja Cat's Scarf Love album, No Shade. Do y'all want to see the deluxe? Let me know down below in the comments. And I'm warning Doja Cat, if you don't want to get your sales lower and also uglier than Cardi B's original face. Girl, stay away from putting out deluxe because shit is going to get uglier than Ken Barbie. So, um, Doja, 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 listen to me, bro. And y'all can let us can come down below in the comments talking about your shit. I'm going to block all your ass from the channel. So, no scar flop deluxe for me. I don't know if y'all want this shit. Now, moving over to Flop Ho, aka Chop Ho, the queen of floppy on the streets. She did put out her song, Sunday song Service, in my previous video. I, I did talk about um, the song. I gave it a 4 out of 10. The song was trash. And also, um, she said she was paying homage to female rappers and even the B words she's beefing with. So, y'all should let me know if I about this down below. I mean, girl, you just want to chase clout off of all those girls, even if Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, Koi Ray, and also Doja Cat does. She didn't even pop. She didn't even put Doja Cat. No shit. She be having serious beef with Doja. She's kind of jealous of that hoe. But then again, she did put Nicki Minaj in Ice Spice, and she, we all know she ain't cool with Nicki Ice Spice and Sex Red. So, um, Cardi B really be doing shit. I'm um, sorry. So, AKA Flop Ho Chop Ho Miss um, Karen. She be doing shit out here, but the song is stanking and also the song is trash. No shade. I gotta call her out for that. The song is trash and hopefully she doesn't do 1.3k first week for streams. Because this song is honestly garbage. People has been dragging her online and they was out here saying the song was putting them to nap. So um y'all should let me know about this new song I'm on from Flopo down below. Do y'all like the song? Do y'all think the bars land there because some of the fans was like, oh she actually hit Ice Spice hard, she actually hit Ice Spice hard. Anyways, I don't care about this whole ball. Y'all should let me know if you about the topic I discussed down below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post you'll be notified. And I'll talk to y'all in the next video and as usual. Thanks for watching.